Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. The Bible says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. May the Lord give you an expected end in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Father, grant me the grace to fulfill my destiny in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, grant me the grace to fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV show dedicated for dreams and interpretation and warfare prayer point. I am Evangelist Joshua Oreke, broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. I want to welcome you all to our day 17 of our 30 days fasting and prayer program. And our topic is prayer to fulfill my destiny. Prayer to fulfill my destiny. May you fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Your goals, your dreams that, that you have been struggling to accomplish during this 30 days fasting and prayer program, you will fulfill that goals. You will fulfill that dreams. You will fulfill the promises and the plans of God for your life according to Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 in the name of Jesus Christ. Every child of God has a glorious destiny. Every child of God has potentials blessed by God. Every child of God has a special assignment to fulfill here on earth. What God has deposited in you is your destiny that needs to be fulfilled. Many people have different assignments to accomplish in life. Some ministerial, some business, some marriage, some career. Jesus Christ came to the world to fulfill the words of his Father. In the Bible, God created the heaven and the earth, and the seventh day he rested. God rested. That is fulfillment of destiny. Unfortunately, a lot of people have fulfilled wrong destiny. That is why they are not making any significant impact in life and destiny. If your destiny is to sink, God, God wants you to fulfill that ministry. If your destiny is to play football, God wants you to fulfill that destiny. If your destiny is to become a preacher, God wants you to fulfill that destiny. If your destiny is to deliver, to heal, God wants you to fulfill that ministry of deliverance. Praise the living Jesus. Fulfilling destiny brings joy, happiness, abundance, progress, and success. Fulfillment of destiny comes with fruitfulness, multiplication, and replenishment. As a child of God, you must work hard to live a fulfilled life. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible says, Before the Lord formed you in your mother's womb, He has already known the type of destiny He has deposited in you to fulfill. Someone asked me, Evangelist, is it a cause for someone not to fulfill? Is it a cause or a sin for someone to fulfill his destiny? It is not a sin, but it becomes a sin when God asks you to take a path and you are taking the wrong path of destiny. Then that can serve as punishment. A lot of people have discovered and fulfilled their destiny through prayers. You must work hard to stay in the line of your calling or destiny. The Bible says, He has a good plan for you and her. That destiny, that potential of yours that you have been struggling to fulfill, receive that grace to fulfill that dreams and let that dream come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. In this 30 days fasting and prayer program, you must allow God to show you the roadmap of your journey. May the Lord show you the roadmap of your journey in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So why pray to fulfill our destiny? We have the money, the afternoon and the midnight prayer section. So those prayers need to be repeated as soon as possible. The prayer assignment, the daily confession Bible scriptures and the daily short memory verses. I pray the Lord will help us to fulfill our destiny. We have waited for so long and His promises shall come to pass in our life in Jesus' name. Our morning prayer sections, the praise and worship should be taken for 10 minutes. Our confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2. Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2. Close your eyes. Take prayer point number one loud and clear. Take prayer point number one loud and clear. Say, Oh Lord, help me to discover and fulfill my destiny in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me to discover and fulfill my destiny 
in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me to discover and fulfill my destiny in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, help me to discover them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Say, empower me, O Lord, to use the talent that you have given me to glorify your name. In the name of Jesus. Say, empower me, O Lord, to use the talent that you have given me to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus. Empower me, O Lord, to use the talent that you have given me to the glory of your name. To the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus. Father, empower me, O Lord, to use the talent you have given me to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. Please, once I'm too fast, you, you stop the videos and continue to pray on that particular videos until your spirit asks you to go to the next prayer point. Prayer point number three. The Holy Spirit, show me wonderful ways to be relevant in life. In the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, show me wonderful ways to be relevant in this life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, show me wonderful ways to be relevant in this life. Show me wonderful ways to be relevant in this life. Show me wonderful ways to be relevant in this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. See, I receive help from above to locate my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I receive help from above to locate my destiny. In the name of Jesus, my destiny be located. By my destiny be located. In the name of Jesus, I receive help from above to locate my destiny. I receive help from above to locate my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I receive help from above to locate my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. Oh Lord, if I'm walking on a wrong destiny, awake my soul and take me out. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, if I'm walking on a wrong destiny, awake my soul and take me out. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number six, the last prayer point for this morning section. Say, oh Lord, if I have lost my destiny, Due to my carelessness, cause or sin, have mercy and restore my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, if I have lost my destiny due to my carelessness, cause or personal sins, have mercy and restore me, O Lord. Have mercy and restore me, O Lord. Have mercy and restore me, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to the afternoon and midnight prayer sections. The praise and worship will be taken for 10 minutes. And our confession Bible verse. Is taken for the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Please throw out these prayers. Don't relent. Don't relent. Once I'm fast, I'm too fast in that those prayers, you stop the video and begin to pray that prayer point until your spirit say, Oh, it's time for you to go to the next prayer point. Pray. You need to be sweat. You need to be you need to be connected. Your spirit to be connected to heaven. Praise the living Jesus. Prayer point number one. Say, Oh Lord, by your mercy, take me to the place of my destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, by your mercy, take me to the place of my destiny fulfillment. Take me to the place of my destiny fulfillment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Say, Oh Lord, help me to use my gift to make a way for myself in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, help me to use my gift to make way for myself. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, help me to use my gift to make ways for myself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. Say, Father, I hand over my destiny unto you. I will not sit everywhere. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I hand over my destiny unto you. I will not sit everywhere. I will not sit everywhere. I will not sit everywhere. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. Say, Father, show me the destiny I need to fulfill according to your plans for my life in the name of jesus say father show me the destiny i must fulfill according to your plans for my life show me the destiny i must fulfill show me the road i must take show me the road i must take show me the path i must take according to your plans for my life in the name of jesus father show me the destiny i need to fulfill according to your plans and promise for my life in jesus name we pray amen prayer point number five say any of my virtues that have been destroyed by causes be revived by the blood of Jesus. Any of my virtues that have been destroyed by causes be revived by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number six. Say, Father, if I'm taking the wrong steps in life, 
bring me to the place of my rightful position in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, if I'm taking the wrong steps in life, bring me to the place of my rightful position in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, if I'm taking the wrong steps in life, bring me to the place of my rightful position. Bring me to the place of my rightful position. Bring me to the place of my rightful position. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bring you to the place of your rightful position in Jesus' name. Prayer point number seven. Say, my father, empower my children with wonderful gifts to fulfill their destiny in the name of Jesus. If you don't have children, you can intercede for other people in your family. My father, empower my children with wonderful gifts to fulfill their destiny in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, empower my children with wonderful gifts to fulfill their destiny, to fulfill their destiny, to fulfill their destiny, to fulfill their destiny. Father, my children must fulfill their destiny this year. Father, my children must discover and fulfill their destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number eight. Say, any power that is working hard day and night to prevent, to prevent me from fulfilling my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that is working hard day and night to prevent me from fulfilling my destiny, Die in the name of Jesus. Any power working day and night, working hard day and night to prevent from fulfilling my destiny, I command it to die. I command it to die. Any power that is working hard day and night to prevent me from fulfilling my destiny, I command it to die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pa prayer, prayer point number nine. Prayer point number nine. Say, powers in my father's house that have swallowed my destiny, vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. In the name of Jesus. Powers in my father's house that have swallowed my destiny. Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. Vomit them and die. You powers of darkness in my foundation, in my father's house, in my mother's house, that have swallowed my future, swallow my destiny, swallow my glory, swallow my star. Vomit them and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 10. The last prayer point for this program, for this particular program. Say, every power attacking my destiny be wasted by fire. Be wasted by fire. Be wasted by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our day 17 prayer assignment. Say, Oh Lord, I need revival. Revive my destiny today. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, I need revival. Revive my destiny today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our day 17 short memory verse for the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will fulfill your destiny. Your children will fulfill your destiny. You fulfill your destiny in the areas of your marriage. You fulfill your destiny in the areas of your ministry. You fulfill your destiny in the areas of your career. You fulfill your destiny in the areas of your business. You fulfill your ministerial destiny. In any destiny you need to fulfill, that you have been struggling to fulfill, concerning your gift, you fulfill them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If God has laid it in your heart to sow a seed of mercy and forgiveness into this program, sow it to my first bank account, 3032749606, Joshua Oreke. If this podcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. Mm -hmm.